So here's the things Christians typically miss about the resurrection of Jesus. I mean, we hit the highlights, right? Jesus went to the cross, he died on the cross, he went to the grave, and then he rose again. Story over. Well, not so fast. Listen, Jesus made some special appearances before he ascended to heaven. There's Jesus. It was kind of a a farewell tour of sorts. And within these touch points, there are key truths that show us the profound significance of Jesus's death. So stick with me today and I will show you how Jesus's death gives you life on Church Door. Well, there's nothing quite like a funeral that brings all the weirdos out of the woodwork. Am I right? Yeah, boy. Maybe it's that distant cousin who's a proud cat parent, or the germaphobic aunt, or that brother who's been experimenting with drugs and it's expanding his horizons. One thing's for sure, there's something about grief that brings us closer to the essence of our human vulnerability. Is that you? I've been waiting for you, Patrick. <laughs> And it's in moments like these that we're more willing to put up with the family quirks in order to make sense of great loss. The crucifixion wasn't any different. After Jesus' death, who did he appear to? But his own special group of misfits. So weird. (laughs) He appeared to an overly distraught Mary. Peter, who denied him. Thomas, who doubted it was him. And the disciples, who believed it was just all over that the Jesus that they had followed and believed was Messiah was gone, and maybe they had gotten it all wrong. Now, before we go off judging the disciples for their shortcomings, maybe we should take some time to evaluate our own proclivities. You and I, just like Jesus' closest friends, find ourselves in various stages of faithfulness and unfaithfulness. And what we see right before Jesus' ascension is Him displaying love and compassion by coming alongside his broken, flawed, and grieving followers to give them hope for the future. That's why I'm calling today's message, How Jesus' Death Gives You Life. We don't typically think of funerals and death as being a good thing, but in the case of the good news of Jesus, it is key. His death is the reason we even have a chance at salvation. He went to a cross, and he took our sins upon himself, and then he demonstrated his power over it by rising again, and that is what we celebrate today. And just like he came beside his friends after he rose from the grave, I believe he's also coming beside us to help us see how even in our failures, in our shortcomings, that his sacrifice is sufficient for us here today, over 2,000 years later. So how does his death give us life. Well, first, I think it gathers us. This is one thing that we all have in common when it comes to faith, Jesus. So even though there are many things that can divide us, things that may annoy us about each other or ways that you've been hurt by other people, it is our common bond in Jesus that binds us together. In Luke 24, two of his followers are walking down the road towards Emmaus and they're grieving together. They're talking about what had just happened. Did Jesus really die? And how was it that he was now gone from the grave? I don't know. But as they talked, this is what scripture says happened. While they were talking and discussing together, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, what is this conversation that you are holding with each other as you walk? And they stood still looking sad. Even in the darkest times of our life, even when we can't see the good, kind of like how these guys didn't even notice Jesus. Wait a minute, who are you? Jesus walks with us through the thick and the thin. The scripture says that he will never leave us or forsake us until the end of the age. Therefore, that's why it's so important that in the hardest points of our lives, we find ourselves bonding over our common bond, which is Jesus Christ. So how else does his death give us life? Well, it gives us life by giving us hope for tomorrow. After these men walked with Jesus for a while, still not knowing who he was, they explained to him that they were sad. 
They had lost their Messiah who had come and been crucified and now was missing from the grave. And scripture continues by saying this. So they drew near to the village to which they were going. He acted as if he were going further, but they urged him strongly saying, stay with us for it is towards evening and the day is now far spent. So he went in to stay with them. And when he was at the table with them, he took the bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them. And their eyes were open and they recognized him. They said to each other, did not our hearts burn while he was talking to us on the road, while he opened up to us the scriptures? And they rose that same hour and returned to Jerusalem. And they found the 11 and those who were with them gathered together saying, the Lord has risen indeed. As we walk with Jesus together, we learn that he is who he says he is. He reveals that to us, that he is risen indeed. And if Jesus is who he says he is, then we have everything to hope for. Jesus promised those who follow him many things throughout his ministry. He promised us that we would not perish, that we would have eternal life, that we would have peace, forgiveness, comfort, and his Holy Spirit. Literally, the list can go on and on and on. He wants to give this hope to you. He wants to reveal himself to you, just like he did to his followers. No matter what we've done, we are all on equal playing ground. We are all sinners in need of a savior. If you're watching this video today and you never submitted your life to Jesus Christ, the savior who laid his life down for you, we have a team of people here today that wanna to walk you through what it means to follow Jesus. You can reach us in the chat box below or you can text the number you see on the screen with the word prayer. We'd be happy to walk with you. Help support great Christian content by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so that every single time we put out a piece of material, it's gonna come directly to you. Or you can go the extra mile by going to rivervalleyrockford.org slash give and making a donation there. Every single cent that we bring in goes right back out to help people just like you take their next step with Jesus. We pray blessings upon you today as you experience the risen Savior who is giving you hope for better days tomorrow. Listen, you don't have to feel far from Christ. Here's another video to encourage you as you walk towards him.